Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit build a record triggered flow from the module record triggered flows. So in this unit's challenge, we are going to create a record triggered flow on opportunity object. And this is going to trigger whenever an opportunity record is created or updated. There are two entry criteria that is being mentioned on stage name and amount field. And whenever the uh, opportunity record met these conditions, it is going to create record on task object, which will have the uh, owner, the task record will have the owner same as that of the opportunity, which has triggered this flow execution. And this task that we are going to create in this uh, flow will get related to the account, which has been associated to the triggering opportunity record. So let's quickly see how we can do this and what all we need to uh, perform the logic in order to fulfill this challenge criteria. So you have to launch your play, uh, uh, trailhead playground. I've already done this. Go to your home setup and search for flows. So you will land on the screen where all the flows uh, present in your will come up. Here we have to click on new flow. Now it will ask for the flow type. So here as per our challenge, it has to be record triggered flow. So just click on create and this will open up the flow builder for us where we have to configure our starting screen. So the object uh, as specified, it is opportunity. So it is the triggering records will be from opportunity object. We want to run this flow whenever a record is created or updated, and we have to set our entry conditions over here. So I want this to uh, all conditions are met. So this will give us the option to add entry criteria. So the first entry criteria as per the challenge, it is uh, stage name equal to negotiation slash review and amount greater than one lakh. So I will just copy this, go back to your flow builder, here, just search for stage name and it is negotiation and review, add condition for amount as well, if it is greater than 1 lakh. So whenever an opportunity, opportunity record is uh, created or updated with these two conditions, so here this flow will execute, but before that it is going to check one more uh, condition over here it is when to run the flow for updated records so uh, for the case of creation of record it is simply going to check if these two conditions are met but for the case of updated records there are two options among which we have to select one so the first option says every time a record is updated and meets the condition requirement so in this case what it says is suppose i have i have one record which has been created with these two conditions now I am updating some other fields other than these two conditions. And uh, suppose I say uh, the opportunity name I am changing. I'm updating opportunity name. And these two conditions are already fulfilled. So now if I uh, just update the opportunity name, it is going to execute this whole flow and it is going to create the task. And it will happen again and again if even after these entry conditions are met and I'm updating other fields uh, apart from these two, it is again and again going to execute my flow and uh, repeatedly it is going to create the task. But we do not want this. I want my task to be created only one time uh, whenever these two conditions are met. So for that, we have second option, only when a record is updated to meet the condition requirement. So what does this uh, option says is we want the flow to run only when the triggered record is changed from not meeting the entry condition to meeting the entry condition. So if suppose I have this uh, uh, opportunity record and the conditions are earlier, the stage name is something else other than this negotiation and review. And if I update it to meet this uh, value negotiation and review, then it is going to execute this flow. So earlier it was not meeting the condition criteria. Now it is meeting the entry criteria. So in that way, it is going to execute this flow. Now here we are going to select actions and related records. 
uh, which allow us to uh, to use the related objects and it is also run after the record is saved to the database. So if you are aware of triggers, so this works as after triggers and this work as before triggers. Just click on done. So this is uh, what we have to configure for our start screen. Just uh, so over here now, next thing we have to do is I have to add one action over here, which is create record. So let's quickly click on this plus icon. If you scroll a little bit, there is this create record uh, button uh, section over here. Just click on this. Now label, I'm going to copy it from the challenge, which is create email task. And paste this over here. API name will be auto populated. Description, I'm going to copy it from here, though it is not going to check at the time of checking our challenge. Now here we have to, uh, how many records I want to create. As I told you, I want to create task record only one, uh, one time. So that is why I'm selecting one over here. Now, uh, so once the entry criteria and everything are met, now it is going to move ahead with this uh, create record. So I want, whenever it is going to create record, it should create only one. So that is why I'm selecting one over here. So how many records I want to create uh, for my task object, it's one. Now here, how to set the record fields. So here, uh, there are again two options, whether use all values from a record or use separate resources and literal values. So use all values from a record just simply means that I want this uh, object uh, uh that i simply want the record which has triggered this flows execution so if i'll select this first option uh, and if i'll just go to create a record from this value it is going to simply give me one option over here record so this is going to consider uh, the opportunity record that we have uh, that has executed that has uh, triggered this flow execution but here i want to create records of task. So this is not the option that I want to select, but I want to select the second one. Use separate resources. So separate resources, sim simple here means that I want to create a separate resource that is separate uh, object I want to deal with, which is task. So this is the record, uh, create a record of this object. So it is going to create a record of task object. Now, once uh, this task object will be created, how I want to proceed. So I have to provide some details, uh, you know, the uh, mandatory fields I want to provide over here. So the first thing, uh, first data field value that I have to provide here is subject. So subject, I'm simply going to copy it, though it is not going to check it. Uh, so I will just uh, copy this and select subject field from here and paste this over in the value section. So value, this value will be assigned to this field whenever I try to create the task object record. So you can see arrow over here. So this value is simply going to assign on this uh, subject field. Now next field is activity date, enter today's date. So I'm simply going back uh, to my flow builder, click on add fields. And here the field I'm going to select activity date value i'm going to put out today so month is 12 slash date is say uh, 3 slash 2022 so i have just uh, placed today's date over here now moving on the next thing is owner id so i told you in the beginning of this challenge as well that owner id will be same as that of the record the opportunity record which has triggered the flow uh, uh, the owner of that particular record. So let's go back here, click on add field again and how I can access the opportunity which has triggered this flow execution is simply by using the record. I'm sorry, uh, the field I want to select over here is owner. So this is the field I want to assign with the value of opportunity owner, which has triggered this flows execution. So how I can access 
the uh, opportunity record which has uh, triggered this flow execution is simply by using the record uh, global variable. So select this and after dot notation, I have to simply pay, uh, place the owner ID, the second one. If I select this one, it is again a lookup uh, field over here. So it is uh, after this, we have to place first name, last name and everything. Uh, this is just an example. Uh, it is for the give you the other uh, field names, but I simply just want to place this ID to this owner ID of task object. So now the uh, opportunity record, which has triggered this flow execution owner ID will be placed in the task owner ID. Now the last field that I want to map is account ID. Uh, so account ID is basically what ID over here. So the value that I'm going to put over uh, in the what ID is again, record opportunity dot account ID. So select the second one, which is simply just the uh, variable over here. So this account ID opportunity, the account associated with the triggering opportunity record will be associated or will be uh, placed in the field what ID of task object whose record we are going to create. So these are the four fields that we have to map. Just click on done and we are good to go. We have to just name our flow with review opportunity with account owner. Click on save, place this flow label over here. API name will be auto populated description. I'm going to take up from the challenge itself and paste this in the description text area. Just click on save. And once it is saved, let's click on activate button. Now we are going to test this flow, how actually it is going to work. So let's go to our app launcher and here open one of the opportunity, any opportunity which has account associated to it. So right now I am in recently viewed list and here uh, I'm going to open up this Burlington textiles weaving plant generator opportunity, which has an account associated to it Burlington uh, textile corp of America. So I will just open this opportunity. And in the details right now, if you see our entry criteria was amount greater than 100, 1 lakh. So it is right now greater than, and the stage should be negotiation slash review. So right now we are not meeting the entry criteria. So let's quickly update it to meet the entry criteria. So here from closed one, I'm going to select negotiation review. Now it is meeting the entry criteria, both of the to both the two fields uh, amount and negotiation. So what I'm going to do is simply just save this record. And after uh, this record is saved, so you can see our record got saved. Let's go to this account name, Burlington Textile Corp of America. So here I'll open this up in a new tab and the uh, the task which we created from our flow should be linked to this account. Now, if you see over here on your right hand side activity section, there is this uh, task coming up. If I just open this up and you will, uh, you have, so now if you notice this task is related to the account, which was associated to the opportunity, which we updated. And if I'll just go to this task uh, on a new tab, here you will see that the owner is same as that of the opportunity owner. So this is assigned to trailhead explanation and related to is the Burlington Textile Corp of America. This is the account name. So related to is again the what ID. Uh, the uh, API name for related to is what ID. So we have assigned the account name over here and owner is trailhead explanation subject is same uh, which we gave over there due date is also uh, the same uh, activity date api name which is coming up over here so all the details has been mapped now let's go back to our challenge and click on this button to check whether we have passed all the parameters
So we have completed this unit. Hope I was able to clear your concepts regarding this record triggered flow, whichever uh, was mentioned in this unit challenge. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Thank you.